word before I forget. Thanks for coming. It is Wednesday. And I'm really, really excited. Um, we have Amber on the call today. I actually did her team call last night. And um, I'm excited to have sort of a whole new perspective. I know she's not part of any sort of, I don't think so anyway, any sort of like grandma group of ours. So it's like a, a brand new face, which is really awesome. I'm going to read off her stats, which are amazing. I it's like a, a, a novel over here. So she has um, 60-6-0 months in Success Club. 52 of those are 10 plus. Three-time elite coach. Um, she was a top 10 coach. She was number five. Um, seven star with 11 lifetime diamonds. She was the first coach to ever sell 500 challenge packs. She run the Financial Fitness Award. Um, and similar to me, she is on an inside leg. So we talked a little bit about that when we first started chatting and we talked, we talked a little bit about it last night too. Um, she also lost 110 pounds, which is like unbelievable. So, um, Katie looks stunned by that or something. <laughs> I see her face. So, um, she's going to be talking to us about recruiting tonight how to convert challengers into rock star coaches. Um, with that, I am stoked and I'm going to let her, I've got my pen and paper, I hope you guys do also. I don't know what that grumbling is. Let me just. Okay, cool. Go ahead, girl. I got everyone, I think. Okay. Hey, guys. Um, so I got to hear Jillian speak last night. And um, I imagine you're used to her style. So I'm going to just warn you right now that I'm less um, bullet points and more glitter. So I'm not going to, like, I don't know, PowerPoint. Y'all are just listening to me talk. Like, that's just what's going to happen. <laughs> um, so, but I, I made a list because I was like, oh, she was serious. I got to at least make an outline. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those things that I've been in the business for so long, five years, six years, I don't even know, um, that I just kind of talk and then whatever comes out is what you guys get. But I made you guys an actual structure today um, and I think it's going to be better than maybe me just talking. So um, I am really big on recruiting. One of the things um, that was really interesting is that when I went top 10, um, the reason why I made top 10 was not necessarily um, because the coaches under me that were performing well, because almost everybody was signed that year. So they were all really new. Um, it was because I signed more coaches than anyone in the top 10. So I can recruit my face off. Like that is one thing I'm very comfortable with. So actually I spoke on this topic for corporate um, at SoCal Gets Fit. And then I actually have done a, a live training here in Austin on it. So um, I specifically took a chunk out of that and molded this around that, um, specifically when you're dealing with challengers to coaches. And then if you guys ever want the PowerPoint for my, all my recruiting stuff, like, cause it's broken up into different parts. Um, you guys can have it. It's on my Google drive. So I can just shoot you the link. But I'm just going to talk about today recruiting from, she's like, yes, can send those. Um, <laughs> um, because obviously I didn't get all of them from challenge groups, right? Because some of them signed up before they ever tasted Shakeology like I did. So, um, but this is definitely a really big chunk. Um, there are coaches who don't run challenge groups and that's cool. Um, I was running challenge groups before challenge packs existed. The concept made sense to me before it was on the market with the company. Um, I'm a group type person. I work well in facilitating relationships from other people versus a lot of individual one-on-one. -on -one. So what I have is this is broken down into three parts. We're going to talk about your mentality around recruiting inside challenge groups. We're going to talk about how to behave in the group. And then we're going to talk about how to behave one-on-one -on -one with the people that are in your groups. And then I've got five absolute musts, four absolute musts um, that you must do. <laughs> What? That's lame. I need a fifth one. You can't have four. I'll think of something by then. It'll be five. Um, four is a weird number. So um, four things you absolutely must do to make what I'm sharing with you work. Sound good? Okay. So 
first thing first, um, your mentality um, around recruiting. In the challenge groups, I think one thing that's important is that you have a proper language that disarms you or disarms them and makes you comfortable. So I always call them, um, I used to call them my VIP customers. Um, and they actually had their own special group. My discount coaches had their own group. My regular coaches had their own group. Um, and then my challengers had their own group. I got over making a lot of groups at some point, so I don't have that anymore. Um, but I called my challengers who were coaches VIP challengers. So they didn't have to work the business. Obviously, I, I prefer that. Um, obviously. Um, but you're allowed to stay in. Sorry, my Zoom does that. Um, you're allowed to stay in uh, my challenge group as long as you want as one of my coaches um, to make sure that you're also getting accountability for you. Um, so they are like preferred customers, VIP customers. The language I think is really important because it softens everything for everyone. Um, I try not to make signing up as a coach a big deal. I tend to be sort of breezy and very matter of fact. Okay, yeah, I think it's time we upgraded your account, that sort of stuff. Really chill. Like I don't stress them out because people tie a lot of imaginary stuff to the concept of being a coach. And me, I signed up as a coach before I'd ever tried Shakeology, before I'd ever been on a beach body program. I did the math and went, well, if this sucks, I can return it. It's got a 30 day money back guarantee. And if I don't return it, it's going to be cheaper. Right? Like it was that simple. So um, I was a coach for, from day one, side unseen, um, which I think does help me a little bit because I have the mentality like everyone should just be a coach, right? Um, make sure that you see the value for them. Understand that when you're signing up coaches out of your challenge groups, that it's not about you. I think that's what people get hesitant about. That's why they don't want to recruit because they think they're making it about them. Well, if you feel that way, then you are making it about you. So what are some things that you can do to make it about them for your mentality? Um, learn all the benefits of being a coach, even just for the discount. Learn the benefits of being a coach as an emerald. And learn the benefits of being a coach as a diamond. And so on and so forth. Be comfortable with what you're offering people. Make sure that you feel confident. So for me, as a coach, as a discount coach, VIP um, challenger, preferred customer, discount coach, whatever you, language you guys want to use, what are they going to get? They're going to have probably a longer time on Shakeology. Do you guys know the difference between the average months of a customer versus the average months of a coach? So you smash all the average months on Shakeology together, it's 4.2 months, coaches and customers. But for customers, non-coaches, um, it's usually a month and a half month and a half. What is the point of that? You might just put us on the shelf with all the other crap that didn't work, right? Why? Um, for coaches, it's usually eight to 12 months. And that's why there's that big discrepancy, right? Coaches doesn't discriminate on whether you're working or not working, but having it at a cheaper price and being more committed by, you know, signing up and doing a thing, um, is going to get them to see on Shakeology longer. What do we know? The longer you're on it, the better results you're going to get. Your health is going to improve. Your weight is going to drop. Your energy is going to be up, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you are doing them a huge favor by making sure that they're not the month and a half person. Right? Like nobody stays in my group longer than three months without being a coach. Like what are you doing here? That's crazy. Like I just, I won't let them throw money away like that. I want them to stay. You guys don't know what kind of objections they're getting on the other side. Um, Maureen, will you mute yourself, love? Can't mute anybody. I don't have I don't have power. Um, thank you, sweetie. Um, so what? I don't know. Shit. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? One and a half months, three months. Yeah, no one stays in my group longer than three months without being a coach because I'm just not gonna let them pay full price. You don't know what kind of objections they're getting. Their husband could be complaining about the price. They could be worried about the price. They could be getting less and less results, which tends to happen on months two and three than month one because you get a little loose on your food. You're not pushing as hard in your workouts, things like that, right? You're not as excited. Um, your workout clothes aren't new anymore. You're not excited about your new shoes. 
Um, so they're now seeing the, the cost is, eh, it's not really, I'm not, eh, you know, and they're mentally starting to write it off. So if you get them to do that, you get them to basically recommit to their Shakeology by becoming a coach, you're doing them a service. What about Emerald coaches? Emerald coaches usually get to help a couple of people also receive a discount. Even if they never go from Emerald to Diamond, the chances are their husbands are now drinking it. Their mom is now drinking it. Their benef they have benefits left and right. Even if they only make 14 bucks a month, they're getting a discount. They're getting another 14 bucks off and they're helping people, maybe one or two people that are close to them also receive a discount and stay on Shakeology longer. That's awesome. Like it doesn't have to be like you're going to make a million dollars and all this, but if you guys are comfortable with the benefits for coaches, you can make it about them and not about you. Now, obviously we have ranks that we worry about and things like that. But honestly, if you treat your customers the way that we're going to go through on all this and you, and you keep them around and you help them stay on Shakeology and all this, it will come. It will come, right? If you do your job well, the rank comes. So it's not necessarily a big deal. Like it took me when I was brand new, 10 months to go diamond. I don't have an upline and I, there's no training. I was still in previous office view. Like been a coach for a long time. Okay. Um, so it took me a long time um, to get it together, but I just kept signing people up. I signed like 28 people before I went down. Well, I mean, it gets there eventually. It's not the way I would have liked to have done it. If I could go back, I would have gotten a clue and I would have learned a little bit more. And we didn't have all the videos on YouTube and stuff. I would have liked to have done it differently, but it came anyway. And I was clueless and just kept signing people up. So it comes. Um, Obviously, there's ways to do it faster if you're strategic and you learn. Um, but point being, don't worry about it. Just take care of your people and it will come. So, um, and one, another thing is, um, yeah, seeing the value for them, the retention aspect, they're going to stay on it. Like I said, it's so much easier to keep a customer than to get a new one. After five years in this business, I have over 1,100 customer leads from the company. Those are just my customer leads. Like, if you can imagine what that must mean on a, on a scale of how many customers I have. But on my customer leads alone from making success club, you know, all that stuff, um, 1,100 people. How much easier is it for me to send a newsletter to those 1,100 people, send offers, send sneak peek offers, all that, and make success club like that versus post on Facebook and beg someone to look at my stuff. It's easier for me. I post, I send an email to my um, customers uh, maybe Monday. Oh yeah, Monday. Said I'm doing a sneak peek tomorrow. If you want to join, click this link and send me your goals. Send me what, tell me why you want to join. 27 people like that. So it's not about necessarily getting new people all the time. It's about taking care of the people you have. Because then you can hit your goals with less work in the future right? So where attention is more important. Um, so if you guys think of it from a long-term standpoint, you want them in as coaches because they're going to stay longer. If they stay longer, that's better for you, right? Okay. And as a side note, I don't know if you guys experience this. Um, be so careful. Sorry, this is being recorded. Let me be so careful. You guys all know that anybody can sign up to be a coach, right? It's 40 bucks. I'll use social security number of 40 bucks because there's no real rules about becoming a coach. Anybody can do it regardless of their moral compass. Um, and so there are co coaches that don't necessarily play by the rules. Um, they can't take your coaches, but they can take your customers as a side. Note. Like that's not really under this part here from a mentality standpoint. I don't like to work in a space. I'm more, I like to live in a world of abundance. I don't like to work in a world of scarcity. It's not really how my brain works, but it's something to consider is that if you get them in with you and you get them in your team, your challenger, their sign up as coaches, they, they're in your community, not just in Beachbody's community. And they're safer with you as far as building your business. And if they want to become coaches and work their business later and so on and so forth. Um, so it's something that you might want to just like think of as an important strategy piece. Um, I realize sometimes people get weirded out about that, but just thought I'd mention it. Um, and then finally, um, this can be nothing more than a coupon. I I'm on Ebates. I do Groupon. Um, if someone has like 
we were doing like the hello fresh and the plated and all that stuff we were all like swapping codes i was like well i've done hello fresh and you've done plated so let's trade like the codes like i'm that kind of person i'm the person i will send in the rebate like doesn't even matter how much money i make i'm gonna send it in that's just me i'm not gonna forget they count on you forgetting i have a marketing degree i'll tell you they count on it there's a percentage they work into it and all the people who forget they use their money to pay you <laughs> that's how rebates work I'm that person that's going to send in a rebate. So think of that. It can, for some people, be nothing more than a coupon, and that's okay. So I think if you put your mentality around that, it doesn't have to be working business. They don't have to sign up two people. They don't have to go diamond. They don't have to make success club. If you're comfortable with that and your mentality is okay with it, you'll let them be, and they won't be weird about being under you as a coach when they don't necessarily want to work because you'll just let them have their own expectations and just work with what they want. So. Those are my tips on getting your mentality right around recruiting in big numbers and recruiting from your challenges. Um, now here's the how to on both the in the group and then we have the one on one. So my eight tips, we'll get 10. We'll do 10. I'll pick it two more. Um, for things you should do in the group. Okay. So I want to make sure that we are constantly reinforcing the value of Team Beachbody of coaching, of Shakeology, of you name it. So one thing I do is I um, do success story Sunday. Every single Sunday, we share a success story of a Beachbody coach. And their points for that day is to find another success story that they're inspired by and drop it in the comments after they watch the video. So every single Sunday, they're watching an Amy Silverman video. They're watching Melanie Mitchell. They're watching Scotty Hobbs. They're watching these top coaches that have been very successful. And I picked a really good mix. I have 12 and I repeat them every three months because um, I don't change my group. But, um, and I got a good mix of people in the business world, people who stay home with their kids, men, women, young, old, Canada, United States, different genders, different races, so on and so forth. So that eventually they're going to find someone that clicks with their story. So they have to watch them for the points and they get inspired and they think it's really cool. Um, so they love that. So I'm always showcasing coaching success stories. We do feel good Friday and feel good Friday in my challenge group is tell us something you did this week on your fitness journey that made you feel good or something someone said to you. So this is a really good opportunity for you guys to look for a place to open the coaching conversation because they'll tell you the receptionist at my job noticed I lost weight or my husband said this and that. Some girl was like, my husband said my ass looks great yesterday or this last week. It was so funny. I was like, get it, girl. Like, that's what we're here for, right? Um, <laughs> whatever works. Um, so they're celebrating something that isn't a number on a scale. But it's something that is happening in their life that makes them feel good. Because what do we all know? People think they want to lose weight, but they really want to be happy. They just think that losing weight will do that for them. So it's the feelings that make them want to coach, that make them love their accountability partner, that make them love the group, right? Is when someone notices. So we do Feel Good Friday. Every Friday I've done it for years. And it gives me a lot of opportunity. A lot of times what you'll see on there is people will say, oh, this girl asked about my Shakeology, so I made her one. I'm like, oh shit, we got to talk right now. I'm going to call you, right? Like, because... They're coaching at that moment, but you won't know that if you don't create a forum for that to happen. And if you do it on a regular basis, people don't think much of sharing those things. Um, if you did it just once in a while, they might be like, this is weird, right? But like, if it's just, oh, we do it every Friday. And as people see each other having success, it reinforces that this is something that makes success. That this is a good thing. They should pass this on. Okay. Um, so we also do Saturday from T25. Um, we do Saturday every Saturday and that those are the scale victories, body fat percentage, inches, pounds, miles ran, whatever. Those are numerical. Um, and that is probably the most inspiring thing because what you'll see happen on there is the old, I always ask, what is it and why? So even if it's good or bad, they'll tell me why. And it'll be, hey, I, I'm up a pound and I know exactly why. I stopped using my fixed containers and I started eyeballing it. Or 
I um, only had my Shakeology three times this week and I was face first in a cake, right? Like they notice, they notice. I don't have to tell them this is curbing your sweets cravings. You need this forever. Tell the world. They figure it out because they go, oh, from A to B, there's, this has consequences, right? Cause and effect. This is, hmm, they figure it out. And they start to help each other too. Like, oh, did you try this? Oh no, I skipped it. I didn't know. Um, so Saturday is a really big opportunity as well. And then we do other things. We have a theme every day, but those are the ones that are specifically set for recruiting. That's what they're for. So it's constantly reinforcing, this is good. This is working. You should do this. Um, one of my requirements for my challenge group is share something positive on your public Facebook or your, your Facebook profile every day. This is just like training ground for them. I don't care if they don't post anything else on Facebook ever again. One positive thing every day. You know what happens? People go, they, me they get messages. God, you seem so much happier. What have you been doing? I don't have to do anything. They come to me and they go, people are asking about what I'm doing. What do I say? I'm like, well, I'll sign you up. Let's do this, right? Um, so that's one big one is I'm, uh, hold on. Right I didn't, I didn't, I'm just telling you that, but um, it's now we're going to 10. Um, it's, it's huge. And I've done it forever. I do it in every free group. I do it in my free five days. I do it in my happiness group. I'm doing it in my binge eating group. If, if it exists and I can make them post something positive on Facebook, I do. Because you know what? Something positive out there in that hot mess of a world, the, what is the Facebook newsfeed is going to stand out. Because it's like politics, dead dog, murdered kid. Oh, motivational quote. Like, you will stand out. They don't know. They think it's because I require personal growth. In my, I, I require they do personal um, development in my challenge group. They read, everyone reads the compound effect. And then they read, you are a badass. Um, and then they can pick whatever they want after that. Um, but, so they think it's more for them. But it's really that. Like, it's putting them in a position of people are going to start coming to them and asking them what's going on. Um, I also do, like, bonus points and stuff. Like, if they make a video of their workout versus just share a selfie. If they share a recipe of their Shakeology. I start training them, basically. So they're very comfortable in the coach space by the time the conversation um, okay. So, two, three, four, that's good. Um, I do buddies. Do you guys do buddies in your challenge group? Like you give them a little person? Okay. So my buddy system is like, it's amazing. here's what we're going to do. It has where they live, how many kids they have, if they're married, and what program they're on. Now, like I told you guys earlier, my coaches can stay in my challenge group as long as they want for themselves. They got to run their own stuff. But they can stay in themselves just alone as a challenger, as long as they want. Because you know what? what I, I worry because sometimes people get off their journey when they start coaching other people, right? And they start focusing on them. So sometimes I think they need that. Not everyone takes advantage of it, but whatever. Well, I know who the coaches are. And so I label them for my assistant because I don't, I don't actually do the buddies. My assistant does, but I label them as coach. My assistant tries to match up the coach with the customer. So that they're building relationships with everyone on my team. We rotate every month, so they're going to go through a bunch. But if there's a coach that's in their same time zone who also has children, who's married, they're going together. Because a coach and a customer, that customer's going to become a coach. Like, that's just going to happen. Two coaches, eh, why? They're already coaches. Um, unless I had, like, a discount coach and then a working coach. I might do that, right, to help move them along. Um, and then two customers... There's no, there's no peer pressure there. There's no like strategy. There's nothing. So I always pair my customers with a coach as their buddy. Um, and they love having a buddy. You guys are not even kidding. I had buddies be each other's weddings, go be there for like each other's births. I've got people, three people from my group are flying from different places in the country to go run a half marathon next month together. It's amazing what you can facilitate. And all of them are coaches now. I just did my challenger monthly mini goal call. Um, we do a, we set a monthly goal on the way to our big goal and we do a, a video chat and there was like maybe 12 people. I mean, the group's huge, but not everyone comes every single one of them. I was like, Oh, there are no customers on this call. <laughs> like they're coaches, which is awesome. That means there's not many left. Right. Um, 
I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but they all know each other and they've all been buddies and they just like, we're so excited to see each other, which is what I want to facilitate because people come for fitness or they come for business, but they stay for people. So if you build those relationships, it will help you in the long run. Okay. Um, I drop little hints when I see, so let's say Katie and Chrissy are talking back and forth in a, they're like, I can see your name and they're talking back and forth on a post. Katie posted and she's like, oh, I hurt my knee. This is terrible. And Chrissy's like, well, when I hurt my knee, I did this. Did you try this? And then they're going back and forth about like techniques or whatever. And then I'll be like, damn coach Chrissy. Thanks for doing my job. I don't even need to be here. Like you guys got this, like killing it. And I'll just little hints. I drop like coach and then their name a lot. Like you've got this. You guys don't even need me. You guys are taking care of each other. I could go on vacation. I do a lot of that stuff. Because, well, frankly, it's true. There is, I mean, there's 74 girls in that group right now, and I'm not doing anything. Like, they're running that group. Like, I mean, obviously, I do my stuff I'm supposed to do. Like, I post, and I go in there, and I comment, and I run my roster and all that stuff. But, like, I could just, like, go on vacation. They wouldn't even notice because they have each other. So, and I want to point that out as much as possible. So, I want to point out, this is not the Amber show. You guys are coaching each other. I just happen to be an admin on this Facebook group, and I want it that way. Um, my ego, I always say, if you weigh your ego against your bank account, any of you guys follow Danny Johnson? Okay, she's big on who's in charge right now, your ego or your bank account? Because usually if your ego is running the show, your bank account's losing. Um, that's usually what happens. So I'm like, I don't need any credit for any of this. Like, you guys, and I want to point that out as much as possible. So I drop a lot of hints. Um, I once or twice a month will do a, Hey guys, I'm not sure if anyone else in here, um, is still left paying full price for your Shakeology. But if you are, I, I'm my bad. Like I must, you must slip through the cracks. Comment below so I can shoot you the link, um, to switch over to the 25% off. And I just do it. And like every time I tag like four people and I'll add at the end of it. If you guys are already on the 25% off, drop a sticker for us. So people see this. And so then they see all their friends, sticker, 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 sticker. And they're like, oh, I must, I must have missed the memo. Shit. My bad. And then I'll get five. I'll sign. It's so funny. Like I, I'll sign five or six coaches in a day and people are like, what did you do? I'm like, oh, I didn't do anything. I just did my regular posts I do every month. And those people were customers. Now they're coaches. Like I didn't do anything specific. Like I didn't run a sneak peek or go recruit or run an ad. I just posted. And there were only a few people left in the group who were still paying full price. So, um, and then I all, I try to, I try to post once a month, like, Hey, is anybody in here a veteran? I'm just wondering, I want to make sure you're getting the employee or the employee discount, the whatever I guess, the, um, the military discount. If anyone is married to anyone active duty, like, please let me know. Um, you know, we really appreciate your service. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss that in our conversation. And I usually get to one or two. Um, and honestly, since some of my coaches have their customers in there, it usually helps them because they're usually the ones that didn't think to mention it. So that's good for everyone, right? More volume, more rank advancements, everybody wins. So, um, I totally drop the 25% off thing all the time. Um, and honestly, there's usually not more than eight, 10 people in my group of 50 or 60 that, which is where it's usually at, that aren't coaches. So it actually does really look like, wow, I missed the memo. I should get in on this. And so, and I keep the conversation real casual. Okay, great. Here's how you upgrade. I don't want you to pay unless you want another challenge pack. You can buy another challenge pack. You don't have to. And then like, here's the refund link. If you don't want to fill it out, let me know. I'll fill it out for you. They usually just fill it out, but I can fill it out just as easily as they can. So what's the difference? Um, I just want to make sure you get the money back right away. Things like that. Just keep it real chill. And then still send them the welcome to the team email. Just like every other coach. Like, I know you just signed up for the discount, but just in case, I want to make sure I can't keep everyone straight who's doing what. I want to make sure you got this information. Here's my welcome to the team email. All the time. People are like, oh, what's this? They take my little welcome to the team survey. They're watching my little video and they're, okay, all right. And I ask them to save it if they're not ready to start a business right now, but let them know it's always an option. So I still treat them like coaches, but I don't treat the sign up process that way. Because that's the part that scares them, right? So I'm like, well, whatever, we're just gonna upgrade your account. Uh, and then I'm like, 
here's your welcome email. Welcome to the team. And they're like, what? <laughs> what just happened? Um, but I mean, like, I'm, I'm super conversational, like in all my stuff, as you can probably imagine from the way I speak. So it comes out like real calm and no one freaks out. Email short. Um, they usually appreciate it. So, and I send them a welcome to the team card with the team bracelet and a packet of energize because everybody should have pre workout. <laughs> That's my theory on life. I'm like, you don't have enough uppers. Let's get you some of those right away. Um, so, and that's just, and it has my, like, I have my, like, I want them to let, let them know they're part of the team, even though they're not. So, like, my team logo is on my card. Um, and the bracelet's purple, and the little packet fits right in here. And they only cost 93 cents a mail, um, which they make stamps that size. So, um, so I still, like, welcome them. just want to get that clear. Okay. So, I don't know what number we're on, but I, they're emo, so let's do it. Um, I recognize in my challenge group when someone signs up to be a coach and I make like a big thing. I'm like, Oh my God, you guys, like, you know, Sarah, she has been cheerleading all of you guys the last three months. Like she comments on all your posts. She welcomes everybody. You all know she's going to make an amazing coach. I'm so excited. She finally took the leap. Like everyone drop a sticker of congratulations below for Sarah. I'm so excited. Well, all of their peers are really happy that they're doing this i'm like oh and then when they see their peers doing it people who started with them not me way over there they go oh well sarah can do it i can do it right like oh okay um and i do the same thing i recognize for their coach achievements so when i post like i've got someone going emerald tomorrow tomorrow's thursday right yeah um i never know what's going on um tomorrow um i have Who's going Emerald tomorrow? I don't remember. Somebody. Doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. Um, I post um, publicly, right? Don't you, you guys post publicly, right? But then I go in, in my group and I say, guys, super excited. You guys all see, I don't know if you saw my post, April went Emerald today. Not only did she sign to be a coach, but she got two people to join her already. Like, this is amazing. I'm so proud of her. Will you go congratulate her? So even if they didn't see my post, they're like, it's being celebrated right in their face. And they're like, oh, wow, she did that. Oh, she's, and she already got two people. Like, oh, that's so cool. And they are genuinely happy for each other because they've built such relationships. Um, and it just makes it seem more real. It makes it seem more possible because the people they are specifically working with side by side are having success. They're like, oh, well, damn. Okay. Um, and then my last one, it should be number 10. If it's not, don't tell me. Just pretend. Um, is I do the refer three option. You guys heard this call. So, um, I want to say Bob Lucido did a great call on this. That could be such a lie, but I don't know. I think that's who it was. Um, it's something I've done for years. When I was going top 10, I did this and I thought I was like all smart and genius. It turns out like it's a thing people do. I didn't know. Um, where I say, I put a little picture of like refer three. It's like three little people. And then it has the Shakeology logo. I got it off the internet. Just Google refer three Shakeology. I just stole it from someone else. And it says like, and yours is free. Well, I don't post this out on the internet where everyone can see it. Because frankly, I think it's salesy and weird. I don't post about Beachbody that much on my, out in the world. Um, but in my challenge groups, I will. They already know I sell Shakeology. They figured it out, right? So I post that and I say, hey, guys, I just want you to know that if you're open to it, I'm opening my Refer3 program for five people this month. And all it is is I have a Facebook post for you guys. I have an exact message that you're going to send anyone that comments on it. Then you're going to introduce them to me. And I'll make sure if they move forward and join our group. That's why some of my coaches have people in my group is because they come in that way. but if they join our group, I'll make sure that it gets credited toward your Shakeology. Um, you know, comment below or drop a sticker or whatever. Um, give a heart now that we have all these cool options. Um, if you are, if you'd like to talk about that. And I just throw it out there. Um, I have a little script. Like they literally copy it, but it says, it says like, I am so excited about the results I'm having in my challenge. My coach, has been so impressed with me that she's letting me bring three people into our group. Um, if you're interested in support, motivation, and accountability, or you have any health and fitness goals, 
comment below. Okay. That's all they post. And then I take it from there. I just take the conversation. I copy them on the whole thing. I CC them on the whole conversation back and forth. They see it all the way to the end. So they know I get told no to. <laughs> it's not just going to be them. Um, um, and they can see what the process looks like. Sometimes just seeing what the process looks like inspires people to work the business and sign up and like do things, right? So um, I sign them. They might be thinking, okay, fine. I'm just doing this referral thing. I hope it works out. Um, and then they see it. And I've had coaches, sure, one of my discount coaches once, I didn't even know, signed her up for the refer three. I got her her three. And like more points kept coming. More success club points kept coming. I was like, where are these coming from? She was just like, well, I just copied what you did. I'm like, good. Duplication. Somebody, somebody gets it. Yes. Um, and she never really wanted to go on the team page. She never came to a team call, but she makes sales sometimes still. So cool, right? Like, sweet. Um, and of course, you guys know, like going for elite, then you guys are going for elite. That helps. Volume helps. Successful points help. Things like that. So anything that you can do to get your discount coaches moving forward or get a coach who doesn't want to coach but has people coming to them, like they're sending people to you, to sign up and do a referral program. So um, there's nothing against compliance. You're allowed to do that as long as at the end of that conversation, like, like that you're very clear what's going on and that you give them the link to that person's site versus your own. You're good. Um, so those are my tips of how to behave inside the Facebook group. Um, we're going to say there were 10 tips there. Now I have five tips on how to behave in the one-on-one -on -one side. I actually have five, which is great. Um, I schedule, well, well, no, I, I don't schedule. I actually I schedule surprise, um, text messages and phone calls to my challengers who are killing it. Now I have a roster in my group because I don't actually know what's going on because it's too much. So in my, on my roster, they tally their points for the day and they put it in there. Like they drop the little number. So I can visually very quickly see who's killing it. And it's not. It doesn't, I don't have to pay a lot of attention to figure this out and go, well, this person's had 10 points a day for three weeks. That's the most points you can get. Clearly they're on the shit. Like, let me go. I want to call them. Like I schedule time. It's still schedule. It's still schedule is still the right word. I don't know why I'm quoting. Surprise is, is the quote, because it's not a surprise. I know it's coming. It's on my calendar. I do texts. I do phone calls. Um, I, when I used to do a lot of driving from San Diego to Orange County, I would plan. I would print a list of phone numbers before I left, or print a list of names, because phone numbers probably in my phone, and grab my Bluetooth, just call people. And those would be my surprise calls that were scheduled in advance. Um, and for me, I'm busy. I, when I started this job, I was still in college. And I had a full-time job and I still had a hundred pounds to lose. Cause I remember I signed up as a coach when I still weighed 300 pounds. So mama was busy. I was doing P90X, I think so long. So I didn't have like, I schedule things cause I don't work well with like, Oh, I'll just saw what I feel like. Cause I, I didn't have the time. And so I just got in that habit, which is good. Um, I send private message rec recognition all the time. I might recognize and ask for a favor in one, like, girl, you are doing so amazing. You are helping out so much in the group. I was wondering, I'm going to be gone at a conference all weekend. Can you make sure that no sweaty selfie goes unliked this weekend or whatever? It's little stuff. Like I don't need them to do anything big, but some of those people like are on Facebook all the time. You know, you have some of those challenges that like, they like your stuff before you're done posting it. You're like, how's that? How's that? Those people, like, give them something to do. Give them something to do. Like, they want to be there. Um, so I, I recognize them privately and maybe sometimes ask them while I'm recognizing them to help me. Um, I will reach out about something that I notice about them and ask if, instead of saying, hey, I noticed this, I will ask them a question. I'll say, have you noticed your face is thinner? Have you noticed how much your skin is glowing? Because if I just say it, then that's the end of the conversation. But if I ask them, then they go, no, oh my God, I had no idea. Or yes, I did. And you're the one million person that comments on this. This is amazing. So I will um, pick out things when I see something that's going well, but I'll 
use it to start a conversation, not just state effect, right? Um, those, that's a really good one-on-one -on -one thing. Um, oh, somewhere you should have some sort of information. When your Shakeology is going to ship? Like, this is like, you should do this. Um, when they join the group, I have like this little thing and it has like the program or whatever. And I've got two columns, their order date and when they sent me their before pictures. And it's real simple, like they fill it out, not me. I'm very like empowering of my people. I hold everyone very capable. Um, I might need to remind them to fill it out, but like I don't need to keep up with that. So they'll put their order date. Well, what do I know about the order date? 30 days. So we should be having a conversation in three weeks. And so I can sort the roster by those dates and I can go, okay, well, this is the people I should talk to this week. Instead of being super scattered, because it's like, I'm just going to recruit everybody. Like that can be so confusing. But if I'm like, oh, these three people I need to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with this week. Well, then what can I do? I can go, I can send them a text. I, I can give them a call. I can recognize them for something. I can ask them for a favor. I can celebrate them in the group. I can do something that week before so that when the conversation happens, I'm already planting that seed. It's more awkward if you're just like, oh, you're shaking all these ships. Damn, we should have talked about that. Maybe for next month, right? That's awkward. So, and you guys, when you sign people up on month one, they're going to get hit with that Shakeology charge and their club membership charge all at once, unless they opt out of that trial or they cancel that $40 if they don't want on demand, right? So that can be a kind of a hard day. You don't want to be reacting. You want to be proactive, right? So you don't want to go, oh, they took more money out of your bank account than you thought. You should sign up to be a coach. You're like, no. I'm not signing anything with you. <laughs> like you didn't even tell me about the 40 bucks. Um, so I would rather have the conversation early, warn them what's going to happen, get them signed up, help them cancel their club if they don't want it. That's like, that's fine. Um, I don't really recommend that if they're going to stay a customer because it's sort of free because they get 10% off technology, but whatever. Um, but if you're proactive and have that conversation, it looks like you're helping them versus saving your ass. Very different. One week span, very different conversation, right? So you should know that. Um, and then I ask them every single month until they sign up. Every month. What? I, it's really simple. Girl, you've been on Shakeology for two months. Clearly it's working for you. You've lost this much weight. You're talking about this on Feel Good Friday, Saturday, so on and so forth. Like, why aren't you a coach yet? Like, what are you doing with your life? Get it together. And then they're like, oh, okay, let me think about it. Okay, I'll be back. And I'll ask them again. The, the most months I've ever had to ask them was six. And, at some, and when I introduced her to the team, I was like, this girl made me work for it. <laughs> like, she fought me for six months. And now she's like, I don't even know what the, what the big deal was. Like, and you know what happened? She started reading the year of yes. So this is what happened. For six months, she told me no. She started reading the year of yes in January. And then I asked her. She's like, have to say yes, read the book, got to do it, let's, let's sign up. So you don't know. Well, you have no idea what's going on on their end. So just keep asking all the months until they say yes to you. They'll say yes. Um, okay, so here are my notes of the things you must do in order for all this stuff to work, okay? This is the musts. You must actually get your challenger's results. They must actually get results. So if they're not getting results, um, your accountability system might not be good. Um, you might be focused on the wrong things. If you have like a nightly check-in or something like that, I need to just change what you're focused on. Um, because what is measured is what changes, right? Like that's just how it works. Um, maybe you're letting them do pictures every month. Maybe they should be doing them every week. I don't know. Um, to me, that's like a little too like, much. For me, my God, I can't keep up with doing them every month. But um, if your challengers are not getting results, um, one, you could be forcing people into your challenge groups that are not ready to change. Or two, there's something wrong with your challenge group. Um, and I mean, some of them are just going to quit anyways, whatever. But I'm talking about the ones that are trying and not getting results. You're not focused on, you know, are you looking at their meal plans when they're telling you they're eating well and they're not? Um, are they checking in for their workouts every day? Do you know that? Um, so you have to get them results because nobody wants to be a coach for something that doesn't work. Right? That's, that's silly. Um, 
And honestly, as a coach who's been here for a really long time, it's super important to me that the integrity of the network stays really intact. I got a lot of eggs in this basket, you know? Um, and when we sell things and don't give people results, we just get put in the category of that thing they tried, that fad that didn't work, that overpriced thing that's collecting dust, right? So it, it's important for everyone that you get your challenge results, but for this to work. Um, you must build a relationship outside of the group. I use send out cards, so all my challengers get a birthday card. Um, that's on my roster too. God, there's a lot of stuff on that. Um, they're probably like, I gotta fill all this out to be in this group. <laughs> um, so they all get a birthday card um, on send out cards. Um, again, text recognition. You must build a relationship outside the group. I know that can be difficult because there's so many of them and one of you. So schedule it. Please don't ever feel bad about scheduling your relationship building. There's some people who like won't schedule a date night with their spouse because they think that the idea is horrifying. And then you ask them, how long has it been since you had a date night? They're like seven years. I'm like, wonder why put it on your calendar, but it's not romantic. Really? How the last seven years been? So it, it's one of those things where I don't want you to think like, oh, I shouldn't have to put that on my calendar. You're a business owner. You have a job. You should, you do have to put it on your calendar. So, um, you have to build the relationships outside. Just, you have to. Um, you must consistently reinforce you and what you are doing. Why do you like Shakeology? What workout program did you just start? Where are your results? Why do you love coaching? How is your business growing? How excited are you? Because a lot of times we tell the story that we already had in order to get someone to sign up. We stop telling them the story. And I think what we don't remember, you guys, is that you're not marketing to new people only. We spend all our time, how to craft the perfect Facebook post to sign a new coach. How to craft the Facebook post to keep the ones you have is also a really good idea. Or to get your challengers to become coaches, right? It's, it's really important that you are constantly reinforcing the value that you sold them on. So talk about it all the time, all the time, all the time. Um, you can, you can be a participant in the group if you want. Um, I, I'm not so good at like daily stuff. Um, but if I have like a point to my sweaty workout picture, whatever, I will share that in there. Um, and I, I jump in on Saturday and my non-scale victories and things like that when I get a second to jump in there. Um, but yeah, you have to reinforce through what you are doing. It's really important because you're constantly, you're selling them every single day. You're selling them every single day. So you have to keep selling of what you're doing. Um, and then it's really, really important that you consistently bring new blood into your challenge groups, that you change things, that you liven it up, that you get things going. Um, because the new people excite the old people, right? They get it going. And um, the new people then want to become coaches. So what can happen? Let's say you do all of this, but you don't bring in enough new customers. There's not going to be anybody left to sign up. You're going to be like, hmm, well, now what are we going to do? We're all coaches. So that's not going to work. So I never let a week go by where there's not a new challenger joining my group. Ever, ever, ever. Never. I shoot for two. Um, I, I like to recruit coaches a little bit more. So I always get 20 successful points. My goal is 50. Um, but 20 is like, you know, my, my grandma's getting a challenge back if I have 19 points. Like, we're, that's not okay. So 20 is my number. Um, and so majority of that's usually going to be coaches. Like, I try to do, like, 70, 30. But I'm always bringing in new challengers to the group because that's more people that I'm introducing in this community that are going to want 25% off, that are seeing the results, that are getting this. I have to bring people in all the time. They keep the people that have been around excited and keep keeping them on psychology and keep them getting results. Um, and there also are the new people for me to discover my next coaches in. Okay, that was only four. What else must you do? You must, you must, I don't know. I don't know. I got nothing. We're gonna have only four tips. So defeating got all to the end and everything. Well, it's cool. They were four really good tips, so I'll take it. We'll say they count as five because they were that good. So that's, um, that's how I do that. Does anyone have questions? 
Okay, my mind is like totally blown. I have like pages and pages and pages of, of notes and guys in our challenge group. I'm the same way as you actually. I do not um, kick my coaches out of my challenge group. So I like that you do the same thing because I feel like people need support, you know? Um, so on I Feel Good Friday, Saturday, and what do you call Sunday? Success Story Success Sunday. Story Sunday. Success through awesome. Sunday. Okay. Okay. And so do you, those are the only three days that you have like set posts and the week kind of let it roll? I'm going to see if I can make those. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Um, uh, I'll help you. Um, um, yes. Yes. They are. They are. Move it Monday. That's video day. They make a video. Um, okay. Try it Tuesday. They have to try something new and share it with the group. Uh, and it can be a new recipe. It can be a new activity. People have gone skydiving. I'm like, okay. Um, what did you learn Wednesday? So that they're doing their personal growth books. Specifically as a reminder to read their damn book because people don't want to do that. I'm like, you need that part. So important. Thankful Thursday. Three things I'm most thankful for this week. Feel good Friday. Saturday. Success story Sunday. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I feel like, I don't know if anyone else is feeling this way, but I feel like I need to get a little more involved in my challenge groups and a little less like I post my sweaty selfie every day. You know, I check in and I like and I comment and I need to do more. I need to, I need to do more. And I like how like nonchalant you are. I try to be nonchalant too. And guys, in our Google Docs, there's like a sheet that says like, how what I, it's what I send to people like seven to ten, send it 10 days before their next Shakeology ships, their second shipment, like you were talking about. And it goes through, you know, how to get a discount, how to cancel. I do include that in there, how to delay it, um, how to turn off their, um, their club, that sort of stuff. So that if the person has stopped responding to me for whatever reason, at least I'm not like you said, like on the back, you know, I'm like not, if they're not responding to me, I just send them this email and I'm like, Hey, I, I told you, you know, so I really like that. And I think that's really important. I think that that helps you run your integrity, your integrity, your business with a lot of integrity, which is definitely what we talk about here. So does anyone have any questions? I mean, I'm like just in awe over here. I don't know if you all are all in awe, but Christy, I can unmute you. Hold on. I feel so much better about not having a PowerPoint now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, um, it's, it's more not a question. It's just a statement. I just wanted to say that I'm so glad Amber's here because I get to go tomorrow to class that I teach and tell some of my girls. I've been following Amber on Facebook and through emails for like five, four or five years maybe. I mean, since like right after you started. I even remember when you – and Snow got the pictures that you have over your bed. Yeah. Your bed. Are stuff. <laughs> I, I remember that. And so I just want to say it is lovely to quote meet you virtually because this is just awesome to me. So Where thank you. Where are you from? You have the cutest accent ever. I want to hug you. <laughs> I live in Tennessee. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love your accent. <laughs> but yeah, you, I used to get your emails all the time and, and somebody hacked my email account. Don't even say anything, Julian. But they did years ago. And so I'd stopped getting them and I was so sad because that was one of the things I looked forward to was getting your emails and the stories that you told. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to both of you because it's just cool to me. So anyway. it's so cool. Internet famous. Um, <laughs> that's so fun. Awesome. Thank you. Anyone else? Are you guys just like mind blown? Cause I'm sitting over here with like head exploding. This Katie, is something. I yeah. Sorry. Katie asked me a question. Um, so <laughs> take this as you will. Um, people don't earn things with me. They earn my time. So when you get all your points, you get to have a call with me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, cause I'm not, cause I forget to mail stuff, man. I have like all these prizes for my last five days that like was three weeks ago. I haven't mailed them yet. So once I figured out something was that the best way for me to get people results and to build a relationship with them is not to send them presents. It's to give them my presence. Um, and so we 
um, they earn a call and they get a little link and they get a little special bonus when they complete all their points for the month. And um, they don't have to get like a certain number or anything, but they get, um, you do all of them for a month and you get a call. So I get to talk to my challengers pretty much every month, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I ask them to bring questions and I usually have something to celebrate when they get there. And I, it's, I usually have a lot of coaching conversations on those calls. So they go, actually, I was wondering, I'm like, oh, well, thanks for doing my recruiting for me. Yeah. So no, I don't do prizes, you guys, because really, I mean, Beachbody sends us a lot of stuff, right? So we accumulate a lot of random stuff. But then I sold everything I owned and we lived in a car for a whole year. So I don't have any stuff. Um, and so when I started to think, well, maybe I should get more stuff, I was like, oh, this doesn't. Eh, no, you know? So, no, I don't. They probably want me. They probably want me. Oh. I do like little, I do like little stuff. But one thing, I don't know if um, Dana and Kristen are on the call, but they, instead of doing like a big, prize or like a big giveaway at the end they've been doing like weekly stuff and I started doing that like I just everyone posted a flex Friday picture on a thread and I threw everyone in a hat and I you know raffled off like like a workout headband you know I wear these headbands all the time that people like so I they're only five dollars each and they're very easy to mail so um yeah I know everyone's different but that's that's a good idea and I feel like it makes you seem you know, it gives you some like clout. You're like, well, you were in my time and you're like, you're just a person. What do you mean after, you know? So. Yeah, I have, yeah, um, I my coaches my and my coaches challengers, and my challengers give me a lot of respect. Me. They know when they can text me and when they can't. They don't text me at weird hours. If I say I'm on vacation or I'm with my husband, they, my phone does not buzz ever. They know. Um, because I'm so very available when I'm available. And I do, I give them so much of my time when I'm, you know, like, and I'll give you all of me. When I am somewhere, I am there. I don't, my phone's not in here right now. Like, there's no way during this call I can pick up my phone and get distracted. My door's, like, it's just, that's not how I work. Like, I'm with you guys. This is where I am. I do the same thing with them. Um, so they know that about me. And it's really helpful. Like, they actually don't ever cross any lines, which is nice. So I don't get overwhelmed. Because you guys have that where, like, people are all in your business all the time. Um, it's, and I, I feel like it creates like a lack of professionalism on our part. Like I'm running a company. I run an entire sales organization and manage a team and I run a coaching business and I run a social media business. Like I'm running an entire company and three businesses. Like even though it's just coaching, quote unquote, right? It's a lot. And, um, I'm a professional network marketer and I, I intend to be treated as such. So that's one of those things. Um, when I had a lot of little stuff, I did send people stuff all the time. People at the post office knew my name. Um, but yeah, I just kind of switched that around, especially I'm getting ready to have kids soon. And um, I know that's going to get harder to give people to pay attention to the little things. Um, so I'm kind of trading them all of that. Cute. I like that. Does anyone have anything else? I know I'm going to be making some changes. For sure. Do you ever like invite, I started like um, when we do our live, what is coaching call? I started to like make an event in the group where um, I post the like link to the live, what is coaching call now in the challenge group? Cause now you can make an event and invite everyone in that group, which is pretty sweet. Yep. They get invited to that and they're also encouraged to, I do a, why should I join a challenge group webinar also once a month uh -huh. um, for my whole downline. And it's like 25 minutes of, success stories and me talking about how great it's going to be and all the fun we're going to have. And if, if you're not my personality type, like it's not very informational. So if you're like a super emerald personality, I don't know what the color is for emerald, maybe green. I don't know um, in the color wheel what it is, but if you're like super sapphire or like whatever, you're like, yeah, that sounds fun. I just want to be part of something. It works really well. Um, and they're encouraged to invite their friends to that. Cool. Chris, are you talking about the U plus three thing? She asked if you could share your... No, I don't know what she's talking about. I'm so confused. I said so many things. The U plus three? I don't have a thing for that. Oh, yeah. Like remember, my... remember you said that you were going to have to, that you minimized everything tonight, but that you had... That PowerPoint, a... my old PowerPoint. Yes. Um, fun fact, my computer crashed yesterday. So it's on that computer, 
but I get it back Friday. This is my husband's computer. Um, so if someone just reminds me, yes. Yeah, I'll remind I you. I will get that you to you. Do you have the templates for the like U plus three thing? Yeah, I have that in a Google Doc that I can share. It's, it's like totally just a one Google document. Totally. That'd be great. Yeah, I keep everything in Google Docs, so I'll just throw it in our Google Docs. Like, yeah. So anyway, does anyone have anything else? This was like amazing. I'm, I feel like I have a lot of notes. <laughs> All right, I'm fine. Nothing? You guys are quiet. Asleep? Because I talked for an hour straight. I didn't even breathe. They all fell asleep. <laughs> no, they're awake, I think. It happens. Cool. Um, my team, well, they know better. They're like, let me get a snack and, like, some water just in case. Um, okay, well, it's been real, you guys. Um, yeah, thanks for coming. This was okay. awesome. Um, it was obviously awesome, like, getting to know you just a little bit. And I did some Facebook stalking. stalking. Were you at Steph Chico's retreat? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. We're, yeah, like, I way... Yeah, speaker or whatever for the weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're, like, way down in that. But we're Aww. there. I love it. Steph and I were APs um, when we were four stars. Oh, that was so long ago. Um, and I remember we would be, like, having all these same problems. And I'm, like... And now she's a millionaire. I feel like, she worked out. I feel like she worked it out. I think she was like, hey. Yeah, I got to go to her diamond retreat and speak about um, just like overcoming obstacles and like coming back from the business and how there's ups and downs and roller coasters. Because I think one thing they don't tell you guys, are there any diamonds on the call right now? Do no? have? I tell you guys who are not diamond yet, when you get there, it is... There's not a parade in your honor. And then, like, money doesn't fall out of the sky. Um, and, like, the president doesn't come to your house. It's really unfortunate that no one says that because people put so much emphasis on getting the diamond. They really, you really should be shooting for two-star, for the record. That's where the money starts. Um, but that they get to diamond, and then they feel depressed or sad. And, and like... I should feel better. It's just like when someone gets to a weight loss goal and they didn't, it wasn't everything they thought it was going to be. Right. And, um, it happens again at two star and five star and 15 star where you get to these, well, I don't know 15 star, but I'm pretty sure. Um, it happened at seven star where you get somewhere and you feel like it's still not good enough or whatever. And, or you'll drop rank or someone will quit or something will happen. And, and you get all these feelings of comparison and being a failure. And what's wrong with me? Um, and it was a great conversation to have, having so many years in the business, having gone up and down in rank and all over the map and been top 10 and then all these things, um, to just let everybody know that there is no straight line in this business. Nobody is doing better than you. I assure you. Um, every 15 star has dropped rank. Every five star has dropped rank. Every goal you meet, you will have a setback, but that is the business. It's a roller coaster. Read Entrepreneur Roller Coaster if that scares you. Um, and it's just part of the deal. And it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. It's really good. That's what's beautiful about this business is it's different every time. You hit the same goal 10 times in a row, different ways. You go five star 10 times, five new people every time. Um, and it's something that other people don't have. That other companies don't have, right? You get a promotion, that's it. You go to the next one. So it was a really awesome experience to be there. Um, yeah, I have one group. Because I used to make a new group. Okay, so I roughly used to sell a lot of challenge packs, right? I mean, I still do, but it's, I used to get like 100 successful points a month. And I would make a new group every other week. Why? That's insane, right? So I changed it, and now we have a new class that starts every Monday. So you, and, and you are buddies in your class. And they can be people who restarted, who hit their 30 days and restarted, or who are brand new, doesn't matter. So every Monday, people just start over and over again. I clean up the roster and clean up the group, and it's all good. My assistant sends me a list of people who, like, are floating nowhere. They're not participating or whatever um, every Sunday, and I just kind of get it going every Monday. Um, and it made it a lot easier, especially because you guys have something to be aware of. Um, as you grow your businesses, Facebook does pay attention to how many groups you are in. Um, there's, like, there's a couple of things I don't participate in, which it kind of makes me sad, but I know better. I'm not in this 21 day fix summer strong group, even though I'm participating in summer strong 
sort of. Um, and I unadmin myself out of a lot of stuff. I leave groups because it looks at who else is in the groups that you're so that you're in. Who else is in there? Who you choose it, chose it, choosing? Who are you choosing? Yeah, to associate with. Um, how many groups are you adminning? How many groups are you adminning and they're going dead? They pay attention to all of that. They also pay attention to you if you add people versus give them the link and they ask to join themselves. And so many elite coaches last year lost their Facebook accounts. And I'm just, it's not worth it to me. Um, I download my Facebook every month just in case. Um, so I have everything. But if they take it away from you, you can't have it back. And to me, it's just not worth being in a bunch of groups, making a bunch of groups. Like I leave my free five days when I'm done. I leave my sneak peeks. Like I leave all that stuff. Um, I leave my coach trainings as soon as they're over. Um, I don't, you know, want to jeopardize my Facebook. So I, about 18 months ago, went to one group and that's my group now. So that's why in case I thought I would give you that big backstory so that you understood I wasn't, it wasn't like a strategy as far as the group um, logistics on Facebook. So how do you only have 70 people in there then? I feel like you should have like way more if you only have one. Well, yeah, because well, like, yeah, like if they don't want to do the things that I want them to do every day, then they leave. Okay. I mean, they have to do all the stuff. You have to be on Shakeology. You have to be working out. You have to be reading your book. Um, they turn in their meal plan every Thursday. Like it's kind of intense. So it's not for everyone. Okay. Okay. Got it. And a lot of my coaches don't want to stay once they start their own groups and they participate in their own groups. Like it's just an option. So yeah, I don't know. I know I have way more customers than that. I don't know. I don't know where they all are. April, what did you ask? Um, so I was just wondering, she doesn't, I tried using the challenge tracker app for the first time with my group this Ooh. month. And I was just curious since she only has the one group, if she's used it yet. We are running one right now for coaches. So my coach team, we all, we are all running a summer strong group for coaches only. Um, and there's like a hundred of us in there, I think right now. Um, so that we can learn how to use it. I love that little calendar. Like I'm so obsessed with like, I got to lock my shape technology, the little dots. I'm like a big fan of the little dots. And actually what's cool is I, I screenshot my little calendar and I drop it in my Facebook group and I say, look at how many times I did my workout and drank my Shakeology. And then people are like, what is that? I want that app. Um, but so here's my issue. Um, it's, it's not like, like when I log in the app, it's just posts for me. And then I have to go to the thing and I like miss it all. Like I have no idea what's going on. Um, whereas like my challenge group shows up on Facebook where I am where I already am. I'm already doing my work there. So I tried having it open in another tab. That worked for a little while. Then I closed it and forgot about it. So um, I do think that it is, that tracker feature is amazing. And what you can see about your, about your customers is really good because you can see their weight loss. You can see if they're doing their stuff. It eliminates this need for this Google Doc that I have that everyone's you know, adding their stuff to. Um, so I think conceptually it's a really good idea. And as far as owning our own content, I think that's a really good idea um, because if Facebook goes away at any point, like it's going to be an issue for us to duplicate, right? Duplication is how you get paid in this business. Um, so I'm, I'm pro Beachbody Challenge app. Um, I'm just still learning how it's going to work for me because there are some benefits. I just don't really quite get it yet, I think. Was every, did everyone feel like a little hesitant to jump on it? Some people just did it. Melanie Mitchell was like, screw Facebook, I'm out. And I'm like, so many people. I, I don't know. It was just, that's what I thought. I would say do one, like, as a group. Like, because then you guys can have accountability, too, and you guys can all learn how to use it and see what you like about it. Um, especially because, like, I'm that person where people, if you're the leader, you have to know. Like, I have never used the mobile enrollment link thing. I don't even know, like, what it is or how oh, you get I it. I love it. You're missing out. I don't use my phone for anything. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Can I do it on a computer? Like, no. Yeah. Would, maybe I can. Because I heard it, like, picks the products or whatever, like, sends it to them. So, like, yeah. This, no, this you can do I actually don't do it from my phone. I do it from my computer. Mm -hmm. But you literally pick the Shakeology, like, 
flavors they want and the program they want. And then all they have to do is plug in their social and their address. There's no like, you know, thinking on their part, which sometimes I think is good. People get confused and they, especially for coaches that need to bypass the challenge pack because they're paying the $40 and getting the refund. It's kind of hard to find that yeah. sometimes and the mobile enrollment, you can just say skip challenge pack purchase and yeah. I like that. Jillian, do you know if that app disappeared off the store? Because a bunch of my coaches have been asking for it, and I can't find it anymore. But it works fine on app. my phone. It's not an app. It's a link. Yeah, it's a link. That you save to your home screen of your phone, so it's like oh. an app. Okay. I love it. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, so, like, that's the issue. Is I'm the person that's like, eh, that, you know how long that link's been out? Like, three years, maybe? Like... And I'm like, eh, never use it. Don't even know what it looks like. That's not cool. Like, as a leader, not okay. Some people ask me, like, where, what is, what should I do? I'm like, I don't know. You should Google that. You should ask Krista. She's, she knows. Um, so, like, I, we have to learn the, the Beachbody Challenge app. We have to because we're leaders. You're obviously leaders. You're on this call right now, right? You're spending this time to learn. Um, we just got to suck it up, even though it probably seems a little annoying. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to be here, and it, it means a lot. I did record this call, but being here live was awesome, and, you know, no excuses. I don't really – I look what I look like right now. It's been a long day, so. Is it like yeah. a million o'clock where you guys live? Uh, it's like ten thirteen. but I – like, I've been working 8 to 8, so this is really good for me anyway, so. You're like, thanks. <laughs> Um, well, then you guys should go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you again. Um, and yeah, if you want to send me over those links, I'll get them the Google doc link. And then once you get your computer back, I'll get them yeah. for my team. All yeah. right. All right, guys. Bye. Bye guys.